you guys it's Carrie and welcome back to my table of three today is meal prep Monday for me you may be seeing this later on in the week but for me I usually try and prep one day during the weekend or on Mondays or Tuesday because I'm off of work so today I'm taking advantage of some extra time that I have after school lessons and I'm going to be prepping food that will help me throughout the week especially on those days when this mama has to go back to work so I'm just going to show you and talk to you a little bit about what I have to prep today Hopefully I don't look as bad as I feel like I do in this camera, but if I do, I do. Anyway, it's Monday, we're not going anywhere, and this is, this is reality. Anyway, so I showed you in a previous video, I'll try and link it up here. If you don't see it up here, pop up, which I've never tried, because I always forget. It'll be down in the description. My grocery haul that I did this weekend, um, I just wrote um, my meal plan in this simple notebook i don't buy anything fancy i also do my prep list in this notebook as well and i'll show you some of those things that i'm going to prep um in the kitchen today it's just going to be simple basic things like um chopping up veggies getting them ready for recipes to go in my instapot later um, i may even show you an instapot recipe if not in this video i'll try and film that when i make it this week and post that later too on um how i do uh what we call sweet and sour chicken or double chicken um, in the crock pot. I'm sorry in the instant pot. I used to do it in the crock pot And I'm gonna chop up some celery for snacks. I'm gonna whip up some peanut butter junkie Which is a trim healthy mama. I believe it's a FP or you can make it an S dip for celery because I love celery with peanut butter and that way I can have um, <clears throat> a FP snack or an S snack later if you follow trim healthy mama, you know what I'm talking about if you follow low carb, an FP is a lower carb, low fat snack. So, and I'm also going to show you in just a few minutes first before we jump into uh, the chopping and things like that, how I make my um, Good Girl Moonshine out of raspberry zinger tea. So I'll show you that. Then we're going to do, like I said, chop the veggies. I'm going to do a couple of salads in the jar to have those ready for lunches uh, to grab and go this week. Um, brown rice, we're going to do some uh, prep, like cutting up pork loin and wrapping them and getting them ready for a freezer. And then one for later on in the week, I will cook and place in the freezer um, or the fridge so that my husband can help me by pulling it out. Uh, I'm also going to do buffalo chicken thighs for dinner tonight, I think. And I don't think I'll have time to film that, film that but that may also be a video I do later. It's really simple. You just pan sear. Uh, boneless skinless thighs and then we toss them in a little bit of butter and our favorite buffalo sauce so nothing fancy but uh, like I said if you want to hear about that recipe just let me know in the comments and I'll try and get that put together so I will give you um, a brief shot of my list um, and then we'll jump right into making the moonshine and getting the veggies prepped let's get in the kitchen we got a lot to do okay you guys can see um, this is just where my meal, men, menu plan is so like i said nothing fancy i just moved to the next page monday food prep i'm going to do good girl moonshine with the raspberry zinger tea a couple of salads in the jar probably i'm going to chop up some vegetables for recipes later in the week and for snacks cook some brown rice in the instant pot um get ready for the chicken adobo later in the week which is basically just using some of these chopped veggies and separating them out we're going to prep our pork loins that i bought at aldi out of my grocery haul for a dinner tonight this week in the freezer and then buffalo chicken thighs for tonight at supper so not a huge list not an overwhelming list but just a few things that's going to help this mama throughout the week so let's jump in and get that moonshine started okay so i'm going to make my good girl moonshine in this large jar so this will last me at least two days maybe three two and a half so i just use the raspberry zinger make sure you guys can see that raspberry um i'm just not gonna focus but that's all right let's see raspberry zinger tea and i just um brewed it i actually brewed about six tea bags in here and this is my sweetener you can use whatever sweetener you prefer and your good girl moonshine for trim healthy mama i'm just gonna pour it in there and that's gonna make about that and then i'm gonna add my 
All right, you guys, so unfortunately my camera stopped. I did not get to show you the rest, but I added almost a half a cup of the uh, Walmart vinegar. You don't have to add that much. I just find mine really strong. I do have about a third of a cup of sweetener in here. You can also adjust the sweetener. And I added almost two tablespoons of this ground ginger. Unfortunately, I am out of the liquid ginger that I uh, usually eat, like to use, so I just use this ground uh, ginger. Then I fill the rest up with some filtered water that we just buy. Stirred it up really good. Gave it a taste test. I think it's perfect for my taste, so I'm gonna leave it. And we just store ours in these big pickle jars that we get from Walmart. We eat all the pickles and I clean them out real good. And I make my big batches of moonshine or singing canary or things like that. So that is my large batch of good girl moonshine that I'm gonna enjoy this week. And now I'm gonna show you how I prep some of my veggies in just a second when I get this cleaned up and get my veggies started. All right, let's get to chopping. Celery, bell peppers, tomatoes, red onions, and then some lemons for salads in a jar. Let's get started. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to work on is cutting up some of this romaine. Uh, off camera, I did take some of those bell peppers I chopped up, chopped them a little bit smaller, and I diced up some lunch meat ham. This is going to be just for my salad in the jar that I'm going to throw together in just a few minutes. But first, we have got to cut up the lettuce. So let me find my large knife again that I set aside and get started on that. So here we go. Okay guys, so I'm going to show you how I build real simple salad in a jar. You can do singles like this or you can be large like this because, you know, you want to be full when you get done with your salad. I'm, this is a simple, the tomatoes that I chopped earlier, some of the bell pepper that I chopped, and some of the, make sure everything's in the camera, some of the sliced um, ham that I did there. You could do turkey, you could do roast beef, any kind of meat like that. You could totally leave the meat out if you like to. If you're going for an E or a salad, you can put black beans if you're not gonna put a dressing, a high fat dressing on it, but I'm gonna do ranch. Also, some people like to put ranch in the bottom of the jar and you can do that, but I don't like to do that. So I will carry my dressing uh, separate. So the first thing I, and I have washed my hands, you can use a spoon if you want to, and maybe I will, just so I don't um, gross anybody out. But I just put tomatoes on bottom because they're kind of wet and I don't want them making my cheese wet and gummy and I'll just put a few in each one hopefully you guys can see this now like I said this is a simple salad you can put cucumbers some of those onions I diced up earlier you can throw those in there they would be yummy 
um, hot peppers. Ooh, I wish I had some of those yellow banana peppers because I really like those. I'm trying to make sure I get tomatoes, but don't overdo it because these are going to be a salad and tomatoes can get kind of carby. So there we go. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to add in my meat, my ham. This is just a black forest ham. I chopped up deli lunch meat, guys. Nothing fancy. If you don't do pork, you could totally do um, turkey or chicken breast. Make sure you get enough in there so this is going to be your protein. Or like I said, if you want a vegetarian option, you could use, um, hope you guys can see, you could totally use black beans in these. Or for a trim healthy mama eat. I'm getting that everywhere, so let me move that. Okay, so that so far is my tomatoes, my turkey, I'm sorry, <laughs> my ham. I'm going to drop some of those green peppers that I um, chopped up earlier. And I think I'm just going to do these three, so I'm going to go ahead and be generous. These green peppers are um, non-starchy if you're on Terminal Mama. If you're doing a low-carb keto, you may want to limit how many you put in. If you're counting carbs and need to know the exact amount, there's a little bit more turkey, <laughs> ham, carry. So I'm just going to drop that in there so I use all this up. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to add, um, actually I'm going to add some of this feta cheese. I love feta cheese. It's also an S cheese. I don't have much of it left, but I'm just going to sprinkle it in because if you don't like feta, and some people may not, it's one of those cheese that you love or hate because it's very, very strong. It's a Greek cheese, but this one was amazing and I got it for like 99 cents at my discount grocery store, so that's amazing. I think I will drop a few of these onions that we cut earlier into some of these um, jars. If you want them in smaller slices, let me turn so you guys can see. You could totally cut the onions um, up into smaller slices like this, but I'm just going to get a few and kind of break it up in there. Again, my hands are clean. Wash them before I started. I think the little one, I'll leave the onions out in case my son wants that one. And I'm not going to add a lot, just enough to give a little bit of flavor. I have a pickled onion recipe. Oh, I said I wasn't going to put any in that. Um, crud. Anyway, we'll leave that. It's just one small one. He can dig it out if he eats that. A pickled red onion that is sugar-free. Oh, it's amazing. I love to have it on my salads, on low-carb wraps. Oh, it's just good. I'll link that recipe below. Okay, so that's enough of that. And then the next thing I'm going to do is cheese. And I'm just going to use this cheese. If you saw my grocery haul, uh, you will know that I got this cheese for $1.49 at my discount grocery store. And it's good until June of 2018, I think. People always ask me that. Is it out of date? But no, it's not. So, at my store. So, you could be as generous or as sparing on the cheese if you want to. These are going to be S salads for us, so they're going to be higher in fat. Um, if cheese stalls you, just be a little bit more careful. All right, I'm making a mess. All right, a little bit more in this one. Just in my opinion, I'm a cheese head. You can never have it too much. Okay, so that's all the cheese. Let me wipe up real fast. Because I am a messy cook. Just ask my husband. He's my dishwasher, bless his heart. Alright, so there is that. The next thing I'm going to do is take all three of these and start with our romaine lettuce. And I am going to stuff it into each one of these jars so that we get a good amount of lettuce and our salads will be yummy. So I'm going to start with the small one first. And you're going to press it down in there tight so you can get the good amount of you guys, can you just accept that I'm going to have lettuce everywhere? Oh, you know what I'll do? Hold on one second. If I can find it real quick, I'll grab my, uh, if I can, I won't hold you up. There it is. Crashing off the camera. Sorry, guys. This is my first time doing this step-by-step um, <laughs> -step prep. If you like it, give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments. To me, I don't want to bore you guys. So, if all this chopping and actually seeing how I do my prep bores you let me know that too because you guys are the reason I'm here sharing what I do so all right so I packed it in really pack it in really tight because you want a nice size salad my son likes salad so 
if he eats this small one. That, oh, that helped. Okay, so I'm gonna move that here. And now you could use uh, the lids that come with these jars. And they look like that. How awesome is that? Now, like I said, a lot of people will put their dressing in these uh, jars at the bottom. I don't like to do so because to me, it looks like um, it gets kind of soggy. But there you have it. I am gonna do these other two and I'll show you what they look like in just a second. Okay, so I'm just taking a break um, from the kitchen time. Uh, you guys see me make, uh, chop the veggies and make a few salads in jars. So I'm gonna just mark that off the list I showed you guys earlier because I'm super fancy that way, you know, with my pen and paper. <laughs> but I'm gonna, uh, good girl moonshine, we got that. Our salad in a jar, check. We chopped our celery, bell peppers, onions, so let's check. The next thing I'm going to do is the brown rice, and I'm going to do that in the Instant Pot. Oh my gosh, you guys. Can you see this? this? This is not the dead trees. It's winter, but this is a dirty window. I hope you guys can't tell us it's dirty. I really need to wash the outside of those windows. Oh well, that's real life. Dirty windows. Mom don't have time to uh, clean the inside once, much less the outside. But we do do that in the spring for spring cleaning, so hopefully they can wait till spring, but... For now, we'll turn this way to my perfectly clean house. Anyway, now I'm going to put the brown rice in the Instant Pot, and I'll show you how I do that. It's just two cups of rice and two and a half cups of water, I think. Normally, if you do it on the stove, the brown rice takes, um, uh, I think it takes double, right? I think it's two cups of water. Anyway, you know the water to rice ratio. You guys aren't crazy, you know, but for this recipe in the Instant Pot, it is two cups of rice and two and a half cups of water, and then I think we do it on 22 minutes, but I'll go over that again in a minute when we do that, and then also I'll show you the meat that I have on the counter that is still thawing out. Um, some of that will go in the Instant Pot after the rice, even if it's not thawed out, because um, you can do the frozen chicken breast and things in the Instant Pot, and so I'll try and show you that too. I'm just taking a break, marking things off my list, and enjoying some of that moonshine that you guys saw me make earlier. Well, you saw most of it, but my stupid camera stopped. So hopefully you got the gist of how I do my um, big batch good girl moonshine. I do my canaries like that also when I have lemons, but this mama forgot to buy lemons on her grocery haul, so I'm a little bummed. I may actually have to go into town tomorrow when I take my son to music class and uh, pick up some lemons because I love a canary. All right, back to it. Okay, guys, I am starting my brown rice. I have four cups of brown rice in the Instant Pot. Now, and I just have it on, so I'll tell you right now so it can warm up. I'm going to go ahead and put my water in there. This is four cup measure. You can put your other your water in first and your rice if you want to. I like, I've learned from the Instant Pot group that, and this is the other one cup to make five cups. Okay, I'm just going to sprinkle in a little salt. Just a little bit. And then I'm going to put the lid on. What I was saying is I've learned from the Trim Healthy Mama Instapot group on Facebook, the unofficial group, that um, if you put your thing on saute as you're prepping, your pot ends up and it heats up and it takes a little bit less time to go to come to pressure. So now that it's all in there, I'm going to hit cancel. I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do rice. And I think it says, this over here just says 22 minutes. So I'm going to actually do, uh, I'm going to cancel. Why does it say that? Hmm. I think I'm going to do a manual, guys, because I'm not familiar. Because I actually have a double batch in here. So I'm going to do 22 minutes. Yeah, and let it go to manual. Um, this is just the book that come with my Instant Pot. So this just has all different kinds of rice and this is perfect brown rice and it's two cups of water i'm sorry two cups of brown rice to two and a half let me make sure this is on okay two cups of brown rice uh to two and a half cups of water so i doubled it so i have four cups of brown rice in five cups of water to prep it for several meals and lunches throughout the week i was going to give you guys a tip for a rice 
This is the brown rice that we use. I get this at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. It is a um, a two pound bag, so I thought that's pretty good. Um, at Walmart, you can get a one pound bag, I believe, for like seventy four to seventy eight cents, and the two pound bag is one forty eight, I think, or one fifty eight, which is still not bad. But hey, every little penny counts, so. Um, I usually find these at the Dollar Tree, and sometimes you can't find them, so that when I do find them, I pick up extra ones. So this will go back in the cabinet, and I'll prep this next week for that meal plan. And we're going to get this started, and I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's finished. The rice is still building up pressure. I should have showed you guys what I was doing in the meantime, but I was making a batch of the peanut butter junkie that is on page 481 of the Trim Healthy Mama, the lighting, it's getting dark here guys, um, from the Trim Healthy Mama first cookbook, I love this stuff, it's an, uh, an FP, and here it is, if you can see, see if you guys can see it, and I will eat this on the, um, celery that I cut up later, earlier, <laughs> that I cut up earlier, so yep, that's what I was working on then, peanut butter junkie, mmm, all right, so now let's jump to the meat, and I'll just ship, pull you guys right over here and show you all the meat that I have thawing. Now, these are not frozen. These are the ones, they've just been in the refrigerator. <clears throat> I put, picked them up from Aldi. They are half pork loins. Again, these are for S meals. They are not lean like a pork tenderloin. You can see the fat cat back here, but um, I cut these in half, and each half would make a meal from our family with a little bit left over. So I got two of those. I'm gonna cut each one of these in half. I'm gonna leave one prepped in the fridge for dinner sometime this week, and the other three halves I'm gonna put in the freezer. This is a huge um, pork roast, or pork butt roast that I'm thawing out. And I'm gonna um, cube it up and put it in the Instant Pot, um, probably tomorrow. So I won't get that in today on this video, but uh, maybe I'll show you later if it turns out the way I want. I'm just thawing out some chicken breast um, to put in the crock pot um, for that chicken adobo. I think I'm going to make an E version of it so that we can have it over the brown rice that's in the instant pot. Here are my uh, boneless, skinless chicken thighs that I get for, let's see if I can focus. Anyway, you guys can see it. 79 cents a pound, which they didn't have any last time, but I, these were stocked in the freezer. So two of those, I'm going to do those for dinner tonight, and they're almost thawed. And then this was a pound of ground chicken that I'm going to brown up, and I'm going to use some of that brown rice again that's in the cooker to make um, a cowboy grub, maybe for lunches. We'll see. So this is the meat that's thawing out. Not all of it I'll be able to show you guys on the video because it won't be thawed out in time, but... I am going to work on these two things next, and then I'll jump back on in a little bit and show you where I'm at with everything. I just natural, cook the rice for 22 minutes, and for 10 minutes I let the steam do a natural release, and then I hit the little thing, pulled it all the way over, and it should open. Let's see. Yep, always open it away from you, and you can see how hot it still is. And you can see. Look at that rice. Let's see, I always get a fork. And flake it out like that. So, looks like it turned out great. Feels soft. All right, so the next thing I'll do with this is let this cool down. I'll stir it so it, you know, all the way down to the bottom so it kind of uh, releases and doesn't get too gummy. And then I will spread this out, maybe on a cookie sheet or something, and let it dry. And then I will put it in little baggies for us to eat for dinner or for lunches or anything like that. <clears throat> so while this was finishing up, I tried to get work on these pork loins. But then I realized right in the middle after I had cut this one in half that I don't have any plastic wrap. So I just used this aluminum foil and... <laughs> Sadly, this was the only piece of aluminum foil I had left, so I'm going to have to wait on this one. I will grab some more tomorrow when we go into town and get this one cut in half. Um, so this one will go in the freezer. I'll just write pork loin on this. And then the other half of this one, if you can see it, it's just in here. and It's got some of that onion and bell pepper that we chopped up earlier when I was chopping. And this I'm just going to put a lid on and put that in the freezer. No seasonings right now. In the refrigerator, sorry. You could freeze it like this if you wanted to, or in a bag. 
But I'm just going to put this in the refrigerator because we're going to have this tomorrow night for dinner. And I'm just going to cook that in the Instant Pot. So, or maybe Wednesday night. Probably tomorrow night. If we don't have it tomorrow night, I will cook it tomorrow night for Wednesday night since we have church. And I work until about an hour and a half before church. So, that is what I have. That's just some of the onions left. So, the rice is done. The pork loin, one of them is processed. The other one will have to wait. So, let's see. So, I have my pen over here. Let's see what we can mark off. We can mark off the brown rice. And, I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and mark off this because it's all right. I start a new list every day anyway. The buffalo chicken thighs are for dinner, and I'm just pooped, you guys. So, I'm not going to record that for uh, tonight on this video because I'm ready just to cook dinner and eat. And then this I want to do tomorrow, and I'll try and film a recipe of that as I do it. Let's see. It's some of the meat that's left is just the chicken breasts, and they're still not... Um, defrosted enough but I'm gonna do those later tonight in the instant pot as after we do dinner and these are for dinner tonight and they're just about ready this is gonna have to thaw some more in the refrigerator and then I'll try and work on that tomorrow and then here is the one pound of it's getting dark guys and the lighting in my house is not the best this is the ground chicken breast which was 98% fat free so it's lean enough for an email and as you can see there is no fat or anything in the thing and I only use about a, probably a mm, teaspoon to two teaspoons of um, olive oil in here which is fine because it'll be divided up against amongst three people so this is going to be mixed in with some of the brown rice and maybe some beans for an email so there's that this is stuff I'm still working with and then we have the brown rice over here and the pork loin. So that's just about everything on my list. Two things, but it's not a big deal. I usually try and break it down into two days. So not bad. It is about 4.10. I started probably around 1. But it usually takes longer when I film, you guys. So if you're doing this kind of prep, just this minor prep, it wouldn't take you three hours if you're not stopping and starting and recording everything. So not a bad day, and it will definitely help me. Um, throughout the week so excited about where I got and that is where I'm gonna wrap it up for today like I said the rest of my um, prep will wait till tomorrow which is Tuesday and my last off day for the week because Wednesday I go back to work um, so I think I got it pretty much done it did take me a little bit longer because this time I was actually stopping and starting um, to make sure the camera angles were good and to make sure it was recording so hopefully this video and this type of video helps you i know it's going to help me stay more accountable um to get my prep in so that i'm not panicking during the week when i don't prep hopefully it will encourage you to stay on plan i know that when i'm prepped i have a better chance of staying on plan and not eating off plan because i didn't prep ahead you know that's the hard part when you get caught when you're tired you don't feel like doing anything and you're not prepared then it's real easy to grab something that's quick and off plan but Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If it's crazy and manic, I'm sorry. This is the first time, like I said, that I filmed um, each in-depth uh, part of my prepping. And this is not as much as I usually do. Sometimes I do casseroles and things like that. But I just didn't feel like doing it today. I just want to do minor prep. And then uh, just to have a little tiny things done. So that goes to show you that you can't go wrong by any kind of prep. So you don't have to prep major meals. Just get small things done so that your meals are easier when you get ready to cook them so that's all for today guys thank you for stopping by my table three and i hope you enjoyed it i hope you learned something if you have some tips for me on menu uh menu pre uh, i'm so tired of can you think on meal prepping please share them uh, you know i learn every day and i need to learn more because i really need to do more myself so share your tips with me in the comments i look forward to sharing more with you guys in the future future it's time for me to stop talking when I can't even get the words out of my mouth. So I'm going to go now, guys. Hope you have a great week. See you later.